guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing an updated makeup routine and I'm really excited because I love doing my makeup and showing you guys kind of what I do for my makeup. I think it's a lot of fun, but um, let's get into it. So first I have this really cute glossy bag that I actually got for my birthday. I love it so much, but I basically put all my makeup in here, so that's all really accessible. But first we're going to start off with my Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream. And I'm the shade 110 Light Medium Sheer, that's kind of a medium sheer tint. Put some on my finger. I don't like to put too much on my face. and. I also, if you guys wanted to know, I also don't really use um, beauty blenders anymore because I would always forget to um, clean them, so they probably got kind of gross. I just decided not to really use them anymore. So now that that is on, it kind of evens out my skin tone. I'm going to put on my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got the mini bottle because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. But I really do love it, so definitely going to invest in the bigger bottle of this. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Now that all my concealer is blended in, I go in with a makeup brush and kind of just make sure Everywhere it is blended in, and all the um, concealer and BB cream is nicely on my skin. Then, now it is time for doing like cheeks and such. So I go in with my cream blush from Milk Makeup. I have a mini one of this as well, but I do really like it. Um, it's in the shade Work, and it's actually a lip and cheek stick, so that's really nice. But I usually put this right along here, kind of under my eye, on both sides, and then on my nose, right here, just like that. It looks kind of weird, but it looks a lot better once you blend it in, I think. So, I'm going to blend it in. So I blended in that blush pretty nicely and I think that looks pretty good. It kind of gives like off the sun-kissed look, which is definitely what I'm going for. Next I'm going in with my Glossier Holoscope Highlighter. I really like this stuff. It just comes in like a stick. I like using like stick cream things, especially for my cheeks. I'm just going to put some right here on the, I think these are the apples of my cheeks, just to kind of make it a little more glowier and it gives off the more sun-kissed summery look and I love putting some on my nose I actually put like a lot on my nose every time but I just think it adds such a fun cute little touch and it always makes my nose like glimmer and I think it's really cute you guys can kind of see my nose kind of shining I really like that I think it looks really cute and makes it look a lot better but now it is time for eyes. I'm basically done with my face portion of my makeup. And so I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I have the eyelash curler from e.l.f. This is a pretty cheap eyelash curler. You really don't have to get anything expensive. It works pretty well for me. Um, so uh, yeah, I recommend you guys going with cheaper eyelash curlers. You don't really doesn't matter, you don't really need expensive ones, but I usually curl my eyelashes before and after I put on my mascara, just so they're like really curled and like the full effect is applied to my lashes, because I have kind of short eyelashes, so I like to make sure they're really nice and curled, but I actually got the idea from curling before and after from my friend Rachel, so I give her creds for that. But my mascara is the CoverGirl Exhibit-ish. I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> I'm really bad at saying things. But that's what my mascara is. And it's kind of messy because I'm pretty messy. 
but I'm just going to put that on. I don't like to put on too much on my eyelashes. I like to put on enough where it's like noticeable when you can tell. Like, you can tell my eyelashes are there, like it makes my eyelashes show up better. But I don't like putting on a lot because like, that just kind of makes it overwhelming and just kind of makes it look chunky. Which is not what we want to do. That's what my eyelashes look like. I don't even know if you can tell. But I need to let those dry for a bit and then I will curl them again. So now that my lashes are dry, I'm going to curl them again. Alright, so now that eyelashes are curled and done, I have this um, Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum from e.l.f. and I like to put that on my brows sometimes and just it kind of lengthen, lengthens them and enhances them and it's good for like the day because it kind of shapes them and helps me mold my brows easier. So I'm done with my brows, pretty simple and easy. Now it's time for lip gloss and I love putting on lip glosses. I have four different kinds because I just love it so much but the one I'm going to be using today is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss and you guys have probably seen this lip gloss before because I am literally so obsessed with it. I think it's so cute and the applicator is perfect. I love having like a big applicator because sometimes glosses just don't come with a big applicator. So this makes it a lot easier to put the gloss on my lips firsthand. So yeah, that is basically my makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can kind of see it better in the light. Maybe? I don't know. But that's what my makeup looks like. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun, as I usually do. I love filming makeup routines. I think they're a lot of fun. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!